Ooh, time for some spooky colors. Hi guys, it's Crystal, and today I have five of the 20 Halloween Horror Shop event colors from Glam Polish. I'm going to have way more details on that listed in the description box and at the blog link, so check those out. To start off, we have Hannibal Rising. This is a gorgeous vampy red holographic with holographic micro glitter and ultra holographic micro glitter, and it is so, so pretty. This is my favorite, and that's why it gets to be first in the video. And then I put my second favorite last. I'm not sure how I decided that sort order, but that's kind of how it ended up. This goes on really, really well in just two coats. Completely opaque. As you can see here in the first coat, I'm going on pretty thin. And it is a little sheer, but it dries darker than it applies. It's so pretty though, and I just love this color. It makes me like just have the Halloween vibes. And I really, really want Halloween to come around. You guys know that. I've been saying that for weeks, so this is perfect. It is so beautiful. I did smear a little on my cuticles, but just ignore that. This also has like a hint of a purple shimmer to it, which I kind of love. And in the sunlight, it is blinding. Just truly a stunner. Next up, we have Witching and Bitching. I love the name on this. This has a tinted holographic base that's really bright, and then it's filled with like multi-chrome flakies and holographic micro glitter. It is so pretty. I don't know how to describe it though. Like, when I got this and saw it in the bottle, I was kind of like, oh, this is gonna be so chunky. It actually wasn't too bad. It goes on. I only put two coats on because I wasn't seeing my nail tip. And I was completely happy with that. But you might want to do three thin coats. It really just depends on how you apply it. But as you can see here, the flakies go on. And they go on really smooth. I thought they were going to create much, much more texture than they did. But they actually didn't. I ended up using just one coat, a top coat over this. And then I threw that on a second to see if it was any different. And it wasn't. I did test the removal of this. It did take a little more removal than a regular hollow or, you know, a cream or something, but with soaking it, it came off not so bad. I actually had to soak it. I wiped it once and then I wiped it, I think, four more times and it completely came off. I've been testing removal on my thumb a lot lately because people have asked, you know, how does this come off? How does this work? And so I want to tell you. This is so gorgeous though. Third, we have Night of the Living Dead. This is a black jelly vase with, I think I just said vase. This is a black jelly base. <laughs> Crystal can't talk. And this is filled with color shifting, kind of multi-chrome flakies. This is so stunning. And it's kind of like Mardi Gras in a bottle almost. Because those flakies are mainly like purple and green which I noticed in the bottle and I was like, ah, I don't think I'm going to like this on the nails. But then when I threw it down on my nails, it wasn't so bad. It does go on really sheer the first time, but on the second coat, it really layers up well and the jelly becomes opaque. I do feel like the jelly kind of clouded up some of the flakies in my still shots and that kind of made me sad. But when you're just looking at it, you can actually see them really well. I think the bright lights against the jelly, though, that I shoot with were just really clouding it up. But here you can see those flakies layer really gorgeously and super smooth. And then it's so pretty. It does mainly have the, like, Mardi Gras flakies. And I love that, like, the green, purple, and gold flakies throughout. It's just, I don't know. It's so pretty. We have Ouija next, which I almost called Wheela. Because uh, my label had like the J, I think, got misprinted or part of it got wiped off from the ink. And I thought it was Wheela until I went back to the email with all the info on it. I was really lost. This is a gorgeous blue shimmer with little glass flecks and a little bit of holographic micro flaky. It is super, super pretty. 
Now you're going to see here, I only did two coats on this one. And on the second coat, there's one spot on my nail where it still looked a little sheer. I ended up stripping the polish off and putting it on in just two coats to see if it covered in two coats. And I was able to by going in a little thicker on the second one. And here you can see like I really tried to even it out. Here on the second coat that I'm showing though, this one spot on the left hand side of my nail was still showing green and the nail tip was showing through. That's why I ended up stripping it off and putting on just two coats for the swatches to see if by going in a little thicker on the second coat, I could cover in just two. And you can. If you don't like going in thicker on the second coat or you're afraid of buildup, I do recommend a third coat. However, I was actually able to get away with two. It all depends on how you apply the polish. But this is gorgeous. This is definitely a third favorite. Last but not least, we have my second favorite. This is Repulsion. And this is anything but repulsive. This is so gorgeous. It is a deep purple base and it has kind of an indigo shimmer to it. And it's filled with holographic micro glitter. And there's a hint of like holographic micro flakies in it. And it is pretty. This is really dark, really vampy. And in the bottle, this is another one that I was kind of looking at and kind of side eyeing because I was questioning if I would like it. But then I really, really loved it. I questioned, I think all of these, when they really got here the first time, I was like, uh, uh, I don't know. And then I went to put them all on and I actually love all of these. They're really like, I don't know, festive and fun and all kind of fit in with the fall Halloween season. And the names are so cute. I mean, they're probably not meant to be cute, but you know, I love witching and bitching. And I don't normally like flakies that much at all. And it's primarily flakies. But I really love how much color is in it. It literally has every color you can imagine in that one polish on your nails. It's awesome. This one though, as you can see, I really went in extra. I was having some problems. But it's so pretty. And you can really see that shimmer right here as I move my finger around. And here you can definitely see how dark and vampy it is. It is so, so gorgeous. I definitely love this one. I have lots of favorites. Here I drag marbled my two favorites together, Hannibal Rising and Repulsion. I have, like I said, all the launch detail is in the description box. These are going to launch Friday the 29th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. They will be $12 each or there will be a limited quantity of the full 20 polish set for $240. Once those are gone, though, you have to buy the shades individually. As usual, though, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more fun stuff and definitely more Halloween and spookiness coming at you. And I'll see you guys next time.